Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Gmai, back in the house. Uh, here to bring you another, what, GWHTs? Another Gmai's World How To? GWHT. I don't know I don't know what, what I'm doing with that. It's just an acronym, bro. Uh, Google acronym if you don't know what it means. But basically, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create your custom playbooks. Apparently, people are asking me specifically to do it. I don't know why, because I'm pretty sure somebody else has done it. Um, but I'm going to do it anyway, because, you know, I was asked to do it. Uh, basically, this is the way the home screen looks on the PS3. For the Xbox users, I'm going to assume that EA wouldn't do you dirty and do it differently. And they wouldn't w waste their time in doing that because uh, you've played the game. So you know they don't really give a uh, give much of a F about anything. Okay, so uh, this should be the home screen. You're just going to go all the way to the right. Uh, okay, uh, you're going to pick coaching options. And you're just going to click on customize playbooks. Okay, right there in the top you'll see that you can create an offensive playbook uh, with L1, R1. You can cycle through. Um, after you've already created one, you can edit it by doing whatever, you know, just taking plays out, putting plays in, things like that. To What we're going to do right now, we're just going to go ahead and just start. Wh whichever playbook you want to base your plays from or that you like, you know, most of the, you like most of the plays that's already in the playbook, you would want to suggest that. Just to make the tutorial simple, we're just going to go with the first one here, which is... Uh, Bruce Arians, uh, Arizona Playbook for offense. You're going to go ahead and click accept on it. Okay, the first thing that's going to come up, if you want to see every formation that's in the playbook, this will be on the Audible page, which is right here. Now, keep in mind that this year, you're only allowed to Audible to formations that has the same personnel. So make sure when you're building this playbook that you have various formations that have the same personnel. For instance, iPro has two, two RBs, two running backs, one tight end, two wide receivers. Make sure that you have other formations that have that because then you would only be stuck. You're going to be stuck in that. Like, okay, so single back has it also. So you'll be able to audible to single back and so on and so forth. You'll be able to audible to strong because it has the same, you know, it's the same exact personnel. So make sure you keep that in mind. After you have that, when you press R1 once, that takes you to your playbook. Uh, basically what this is, is the plays that are already in your playbook. That's all it is. So you can look and see what's there. You can manually, uh, remove plays individually by pressing X and then accepting it and stuff like that. I don't want to remove a play. I'm just showing you. That's how you would remove it. Okay. Then you go to all plays. This is where you can actually, you know, add the plays that you want in, in bunches. Uh, you can add all plays, remove plays, do whatever you want. Uh, with, with As far as what you want, everything is here. You press L2 and find what you want on this side. Then you press R2 to get the proper set of what you want. And um, that, that's pretty much what it is. Uh, everyone, every, uh, I guess everything other than Full House has various sets. Like iPhone has Close. You press R2 and all these other things come up. Uh, that's pretty much what it is right there. Okay? After you figure out what you want in the playbook, you, you simply go back. You want to set your audibles. Once you add the plays, so you press L1, L1, go back to audibles, and then you go to the formation that you picked, and you just change the audibles. You press X on it, it'll show you all the plays that are there, uh, that, are, that are your current audibles. You press X again, and it shows you all the plays, and you just simply go to the play that you want to add as your audible, click it, or whatever, like for instance, Z-spot. Z now, when I press box and press box again, my audible will be Z-spot, and uh, it's pretty much that simple. Uh, I would recommend that everybody make a custom playbook. If you're going to be doing a lot of tournaments, then pretty much find a playbook that has most of the things that you use in it. But for online gameplay franchises, now that you can use it, it's beneficial for you to have it. Uh, like I said, everybody has a pretty much their money scheme that they use. So just if you're comfortable with one set, use that one set. Uh, I mean, the one playbook that you know for when you go to the tournaments and uh, handle your business. But as far as franchise, online gaming, things like that, definitely it benefits everyone to make a custom playbook. Same things apply for the uh, defensive playbook. It's the same exact thing. You just go to defensive playbook, pick a defensive playbook to start with, add plays, whatever. When you're done, all the sets, all the, all the formations will be shown here so you know everything that's in the playbook. And you just simply pick your audibles. Save it. Once you get to this point, you press circle to back out. It's going to ask you if you want to save the playbook. You want to press X, go to save playbook, and you want to find, uh, you, you want to go and select new and just name it. And that's it. That's pretty much it. That's how you make a custom playbook in Madden 25. Hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Until next time, one love.